Video coming everybody, D here today with a very special guest and uh, we're going to be talking about Hot Wheels. So today our special guest is Dr. Edward Richthofen from Call of Duty Nazi Zombies. Richthofen, would you like to say something? Oh yes, oh, thank you for uh, letting me on the show. It's been uh, quite some time since you've um, you know, put me on the show, D. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah, so uh, wh what are we uh, talking about? Hot Wheels cars? Okay, so uh, what are we uh, going to be, uh, you know, showing on this little di display case here? Well, I'm going to put a Hot Wheels car on the display case thingamajig or whatever that is, the stand, and we're going to talk about it. Oh, okay, that sounds cool. So what's the first car? Alright, so today we're going to be starting off with uh, th a few cars that I bought today. And that first car is Formulator. Oh wow, that's a really cool looking car, I like it. Yeah, it uh, it glows in the dark when uh, lights uh, hit the wheels. Oh, that's really interesting, yeah. Let's see, let's get the flashlight here. And if we shine the light here. And then take it away. As you can see, it is glowing. Oh wow, that's really cool. Yep. But uh, I have a I have a little problem with this car. Oh, what is it? Uh, the the paint is uh, it's it's a little messed up. It doesn't really look like it. But um, we're gonna take this off the stage real quick, and we're gonna look at another car I have. Okay, so this is uh this is another Formulator. Oh wow, that one looks very good. That one looks better than the other one. Yes, yes it does. Look at these wheels. Look how nicely detailed those wheels are. And uh, this car has been in my collection for quite some time. Look how beautifully done that paint job is. Oh, wow. Very shiny. I really like the uh, the, the flowingness of the, the paint job. It really flows good with the car and, and it gives it a very nice, fast-looking attitude. Yeah, it does. Alright, so now we're going to go back to the other formulator. Now... I didn't show you what was wrong with this car, but if you look at the number 8, you can see that there is little paint inks in the paint job on the 8. Look at that. Look how badly painted this car is. Oh wow, that is... that is terrible! I, wow, let's, let's compare! Look at that! Oh my goodness! That is, that is very bad, you know, you could see the detail that they put into the blue car, and then the green car is just, is just poopoo. -poo. Yes, it is. Now, remember, I just purchased this today. Today. Fresh out of the box, I still have the box. You don't believe me? Here's the damn box. Here's the box, right here. There's the box. Box right there. It's got the name on it. Probably can't focus right now. Well, yeah, there's the box. So yeah, just bought this today. Still have the receipt from Walmart too, which I uh, don't want to show you guys because I'm too lazy. Unless it's right here. Nope, that's a different receipt. Oh well, screw it. So yeah. All right, now we're gonna look at another car that I got a long time ago, and we're gonna look at how old it is. Look at that. Wow, it looks like an antique. Oh my god, the wheels barely move on the front. Look how bad that is. Yes, but look at that paint job. Look at it. Wow, you can see the detail on that girl's face. That is amazing. Wow. Fantastically done. Beautiful. Look at the detail on the lights. Alright, now we're going to look at another car that I got today. Now, I've been wanting this car for a very long time. And, uh, it's been around for quite some time now. And I've never gotten my hands on it. This is Chicane. Oh, is this another go into that car? Yes, it is. Now, this is one of the reasons why I got it. But the main reason is because it is Chicane, which is a car from the Hot Wheels Accelerator series. And I do enjoy that series very much. 
And this was one of my favorite cards, which I was able to, uh, was never able to get a hold of. But, uh, look at the paint job on the hood. Got a little bit of a dink there. How does that happen? We don't know. It looks like somebody's fingerprint. But at the same time, we don't really know. Uh, just, oh god. It's so terribly done. Alright, watch next. Alright, next we have a car that is from the Acceleracer series. This is the RD-05. Which is one of the drone vehicles. If you guys don't know the series, the drones were the bad guys. And their cars are really cool. And uh, we're trying to get our camera to focus there. Look at that amazing detail. That is some beautiful detail. Now we're going to shine a light on here just to see the extra detail put into this paint job. And show you that there is no scratches or dinks in the paint. That is amazing. Look at the little symbol on the wings here. You can see how much detail they put into the car. The wheels look really cool too. I like how that's glowing green when the light hits it. And look, they even have little tiny things inside the wheels. That is really cool. Yeah, it is. Now, let me remind you. I've had this car for several, several years. And it still looks like it came out of the box today. That is amazing. And this car has been through a lot of crap, too. I've had it in a box with a bunch of other cars. It could have gotten dinged, scratched the crap. Absolutely beautiful. The only thing on this car that's a little scratched is the front bumper. Oh, wow, that's not even that noticeable. Yeah. <sighs> now, the last car we're going to look at is another car I bought today. This is the Volkswagen Caddy. Oh, a German vehicle. I like it already. As you can see, on the front light, it is a little uh, badly painted. Can someone please tell me why it's like that? Like, how does that even happen? Brechtoff, do you even know how this happens? No, I don't know. I don't work at Mattel and make Hot Wheels cars. Well, I certainly don't know why. And, uh, oh yeah, just before we go, we're gonna look at another car. This car I got in a place set a long time ago. And it is still in beautiful, beautiful condition. The wheels are beautiful and shiny. The paint job is shiny. No dinks. Everything is just fantastic looking. So, what I want to know is, why is Mattel being lazy? And uh, why are we getting cars that look like turds? It's unfair. And it's unfair for everybody who loves Hot Wheels. Yeah, very bad. Um, so is this the end of the show? Yep, this is the end of the show. Oh, oh, is it, oh boy. Um, okay, uh, should I say something? Um, yeah, I guess you could do the outro. Here's the lines. Oh, okay. Uh, um, uh, d thank you for watching, everybody. And if you see somebody that attracts you, go talk to them. I'll be the same, my friends. Did I say it right? Yes, you did. Yay!